Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Aaron Frost, and today I got you guys another update of deck profile video for you guys. Uh, this time we're doing the Stoicaea Zorga Mask update deck profile. How many times I gotta say deck profile? I think I got that to my brain too much. I'm sorry. But yes, so I finally got the stuff from set some of the set 13 collection as well as some of the rest of the set 12 collection, I believe. But we're more than upgraded to basically pretty much set, set 13, pretty much. So, this is the final deck of the build that Maznori used against Bastion in, a, in the Bamboo Forest. And that is where he finally confessed, um, basically he's been using Toya and wanting him to hate him. Basically, Maznori has a lot of problems in his head. For someone who's a, a monk, and which, by the way, it's funny because in the season finale of uh, Vanguard Will Dress, he basically was last seen. He was last seen staying, tuning in to Guy and um, Yu Yu's match. And then he also resumed his role as a monk in a ceremony for the dead, I, I presume. And I guess ever since then, he just did his own thing. I suppose. But, so this deck really much hasn't quite changed too much. I try to find the good kind of recipe to this uh, deck itself. It does revolve around Alchemagic a little bit more, but it does have a little bit of right amount of orders, I think. I think, I promise, I hope. I've been testing this out like crazy. I lost to it maybe a couple times. I maybe lost to my opponent maybe a couple times with it, but it's still a work in progress for me to continue using it, but I believe this deck can do better with the right amount, is what I'm trying to say. So, on to the deck itself. Of course, this is going to be a full 54 card deck. So, for the right deck, we have, of course, Dream Nibbling. We also have the Grade 1 Ranker Chain. Grade 2, we have Black Tears Husk Dragon. And of course, my personal choice of for Zorga is the Red Zorga, Dead Sea Spiritualist, Graves equals Zorga. So even though Zorga didn't assume this form in the Will Dress series like Orphus did with Orphus Regis, I think it'd be nice just to you know include him into this because I've got along with this one better than the other um, the other blue, the Blue Zorga. So and also. <sighs> As a side note, this deck will go into a full transformation when DZ format Divine series comes out because, because unfortunately, um, the mask will be disappearing. Zorga Nadir will be a thing, and it still is in Japan somewhat. And yeah, so this deck will be finally torn apart and it will finally rebuild to a whole new ride line. And that's it. Although, I gotta say, Maznori in this ne this new season of, of Divines, he's kind of scary. But, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting way off track here, you guys. But still, that's like a funny side note. <laughs> and, of course, we're, we're reprising the role of his using his old sleeves for, um, for the deck itself. Even though I choose those for my Dark State ones. But, unfortunately, I don't have any Dark State... Um, actual sleeves for him. Alright. So, here comes the main deck itself, the Great Zeros. I have four heal triggers, which is Alleged Pixie. Even though I wanted to have the other, the Korean exclusive one, I, not the Korean, um, the other Stoakia one, but I'm missing one more copy of that one. So I'm stuck with this for now, but I do like the nice feel to it. So next I'm using two Linas, which is the draw triggers, because you still need to have a variety of cards to draw in as well. Even though I personally think that most of these decks now can go into like um the critical and front uh, stage, but teach your own I suppose. And of course, we're still using Abyss Temptation for our critical trigger. 
And of course, Elena for our last crinkle trigger, which is the the other effect. Although personally, I kind of wish I can use a different um, use the, less the effect triggers and more of the just vanillas, just because we don't hardly ever use our effects more often. So that's um, it is what it is, pretty much. Next, we also have two frenzy heiresses for our fronts. One Blast River for Over Trigger. And of course, we're also including a Grade Zero order for this one. This is called Rousing Rasp. So the skill is the Counter Blast one by paying it. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one card with grade greater than or equal to your Vanguard from among them. Reveal it and put it into your hand and discard the rest. So I chose one copy of this card, and this is from the Set 10 collection. Yep, Set 10. I chose only one copy of this card, just because you want to get your um, orders orders in the grave as much as fast as possible, and then you can thin out your deck a little more faster. But we also have another unit for that too. So that's just the grade zero. So this is just getting started. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> now let's hold off. Before I continue on doing this, let me hurry to get sippy sippy. Okay. Uh, the burpees is uh, not a private. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyways, moving on. <clears throat> so for our deck here, we have the main grade one here, which is Conceited Noble Philander. Philander has been chosen because. Well, Mazenori does play it, but this can go in any deck if you want to like thin out your your one card. Um, you can choose it with Magnolia, Leonor, or um, Flagberg. I don't know what you want to do it, but it's mainly for Zorga play, I believe so. Zorga and Magnolia, I think those are the two right things to say. But his skill is, when this unit is placed on rear guard from hand, look at the top five cards of your deck, choose up the one card... From among them, discard it and shuffle the deck. During your turn, if your drop has 10 or more cards, this unit gets 10,000 power. And that's why it's one of the most essentials for Zorga play as well. And that's why I think it's a little bit more expensive now. Because I saw, um, saw it being more expensive. I just gotta remember, I never did quite catch that price. So, I didn't notice. So, I'm sorry. But, yeah, it's very much an essential to have 10 cards in the drop zone. That's why um, taking out some cards at a time will help you get your chances of making this possible for having a 10k beater and 10k um, 10k beater, 10k um, booster. Sorry. Anyways... <laughs> Sorry, I'm in the middle of watching Underworld um, Blood Wars, and there's a fight scene going on I kind of like. So I'm sorry. Anyways, so the rest of the time we have three complete guards, which is Custodial Dragon, and then we also have two copies of Spiritual Body Condensation. Now, everyone's saying that you can only play maybe a one of these cards if you really want to, but I choose to play two just in case. So, this is like from set one. I haven't played this card in a very long time. So, it's nice to bring it out once in a great while. And I also hear that it has a, an alternate art now. An alt art now. Just like, um... The other card. Not Scorpion and Agony. I forgot what it was called. I'll have to look into it again, but... Oh, well. We also have one copy of In the, in the Ding Darkness of Frozen Resentment. So... One copy of that. And of course we have one Elementaria Sanctitude for, you know, like I said in my last video, if you really want to play this card and protect yourself from a great four triple drive, you can. That's like a free of cost card. But most of the time you're using this for your complete guard as well. And it'll still act on it. The downside is it's banished once its purpose is finished. So let me ask you guys this little question. Is it best just to run one Elementaria Sanctitude and play three of the regular complete guards, or just take out Elementaria, then put the last uh, complete guard in, because 
either way, you gotta think about what's best for your deck and what's gonna help you later down the, down the line. Because I found out this card does not work against bot like cards who gain triple drive. This has to have an actual triple drive icon. So that's a little fun fact I didn't know about. But that's the grade one play, and if you guys want to know, I'm using the the light green sleeves for this deck. I think this is olive color, I think, but I think, yeah, I think it might be olive color. I don't know. I'll have to double check it. But so far, it looks green to me. So, it's genius. Okay, now for the grade two play, we are having, we have nine grade twos in here. So clearly this deck does not have much monsters in it. It mostly have um, grade 3 plays, grade 1 plays. It's a little bit of a variety here. But I've seen some deck profiles back to back to back. And trust me, I find I had to write down units. Like literally, write down the names of the units about what's most essential. And then combine those informations into one deck to manifest it magically. But this is the information I've got. So, of course, we do have a full play set of Shadow Cat, Shadow Cloak, aka Shadow Cat, because he does get you the, um, the orders that you need as well and put them in the drop zone. And if you do play an order, he does gain additional power. So, he's still an essential to a degree, but you guys can say the other one maybe might be working as well. I don't know. I'll have to write down the list of all the players' decks and see what I can find and concoct my own version. Pretty much, but so far, Shadow Cloak is at a four of. The next one we have is three copies. The next, sorry, the next one we have is three copies of Command of Death's Restraint. This card's skill is from the set 13 collection and it's also a pretty damn good one, too. Discard the top card of your deck, as it doesn't say how to pay the cost, but it's part of the skill. Choose a card with a grave less than or equal to your vanguard from your drop. Call to rear guard to it if it is a unit card and put it into your hand if it is a normal order, not named Command of Death Restraint. So it does give you that chance to superior call a unit card. And if it's not a unit, um, add um, an order from the drop, pretty much. So either way, it gives you a vice versa um, a chance to get to get what you need in the drop. And finally, my personal favorite uh, order card is two copies of Gallery Upon Me, Ye Wandering Souls. Basically because we want the extra triple drive ability. So um, if you have this card in your hand during your um, grade 2 play, you perform a twin drive. And you get your criticals probably faster or trigger that you want no matter what trigger it is. Sometimes uh, we want to save this card until grade 3 because it gives you a tri triple drive. And no, it does not mean you can play Emmentory as Entered with it. So, unless, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm just being a little petty. But, I I'm sorry. It's just, I thought it meant you have to go up against a unit that does actually have a triple drive icon in order to use Emmentoria. But this one will give you an actual drive. That's the same way as uh, Pre-TV does. Not Pre-TV, um, uh, Chandra in Barsagra. So there's that. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Sorry, I got a little pause right there. Um, so, for grade 3s, let me just double check the, how much, many grade 3s we are playing in this deck, just in case. So, so, we are playing 13. Okay, so we're playing 3 more copies of Graves Warga, just for Persona Ride ability. For Persona, persona Ride, yes. 4 copies, a full play set of Teasing Spiritualist Dorga Mask. Just because you can still get his effect off, and as long as you have the Grave Zorgas in the drop overhand, I don't care what you guys do, but 
basically you need him just to complete the mask. So we have Teasing Spiritualist Zorga masks. So there's he right here. We have a full playset of the most loved card of all time here. And this is the Roman Prison Dragon. So four copies of that. And then two copies of the Mask of Hydra Grum. Just because we don't... I think we only need like two of them at a time. Just so that we can just get Zorga Mask on the field. And then shit will happen. And then he's good for uh, Discard Fodder. So, there you go. <sighs> okay, that was a mouthful right there. And that's a lot of time wasted, pretty much. But anyways, you guys, that is it for the updated deck profile video of Zorga Mask. And probably the only time we'll be doing Zorga Mask at this, after this point. And we'll wait to see if the new Zorga Nadir can pull off some stunts in the Divine's world. So... That is it for the final update of Zorga Mask, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video from it. So, and as always, I appreciate you guys' love and you know support to my channel. It means a lot to me that you could ever imagine. If you guys love the content I do create on my channel very much, so please subscribe to my channel, show some love, thumbs up, comment down below. Uh, let me know what your thoughts about this deck and see what the best recipe that you guys think is best. And please keep the comments very nice and not very negative because I know in the past we've had some problems with people who just want to put you down for your hard work and creativity. And trust me, it was a bitch to figure out this deck here because Zorga is the least deck I would only play maybe once or twice and then probably put it back in the binder. Just because it's difficult for me to find the right proper recipe without relying on someone else's work, you know? I like to try and make it myself a little bit more give or take kind of thing. But yes, you guys, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your month. For most of you who are in Ireland, happy St. Paddy's Day, luckily Irish. Um, I know next month is the Easter Bunny, which, God forbid, I'm going to have to kill the Easter Bunny. So it sucks. <laughs> um, anyways, just be safe out there, you guys. Make good choices out there and don't get in trouble. Don't get arrested, you know, all that good stuff. And please, for the love of God, if you just play the Vanguard how you want to play it, and don't let anyone make any speak any difference. So that's my final words. And as always, I've been your faithful host, Siren Frost. See you guys next time. Bye.